Hi, I'm Chris Augurino of Cisco DevNet, and I'm here with Brian Dreyer, Director of Product Management at Vbrick. Brian, nice to see you. Good to see you. Hey, I understand you guys are out there solving problems in the real world. What kind of problems are you trying to solve? Uh, employee engagement is actually the biggest problem we're working on. And so how does Vbrick solve that problem? Well, we provide video tools to help give them ways of connecting with people, um, no matter where they are. So, how's that going out in the real world? Well, it's going pretty well, because we're seeing training programs really take off using video. You know, it shrinks some onboarding time. Um, we do a lot with live video, because CEOs like to broadcast themselves. So, it's going really well so far. That sounds excellent. So, tell me, can you give our, our, our friends here just a little bit more information on what, what, what do the you know, end customers, what do those employees see? Yep. And, and what is that, how does that all work together? Yeah, absolutely. So employees get a handful of tools when they use a solution like ours. Um, not the least of which starts with their onboarding experience, right? So they've got a centralized repository to find training content because video itself just leads to faster training time. So HR departments are really big on this. Um, as we get into product rollouts and sales training and sales updates as well, we see them constantly coming back to the same information. And let's be honest, video is just a much more powerful communication tool. Um, for the other side, for live video, we also have a centralized system for distributed workforces to do live town halls. And that's really one of the biggest growing use cases because CEOs want to be seen, right? And they want to engage and they can't travel everywhere. So live video really gives them that, um, that great tool to engage with their entire workforce. And so I understand there's some Cisco APIs involved in this. Tell us about that part. Yeah, the DevNet part's been a really great part of our program because it's enabled us to build integrations really fast. So whether it's integrations into Spark, which has been obviously a big one, um, but we've had WebEx integrations, Tropo integrations as well for a while now too. Okay, great. So um, how has DevNet helped you? With, when you're doing those integrations, what is it that DevNet does for you? Well, if nothing else, I mean, probably the biggest thing is that it just speeds up our time to development. Um, whether we can get through prototyping phase really fast, um, but our engineering team doesn't have to spend you know, countless research hours. It's a very simple place to go and find exactly what they need, and we can move that into a, you know, a research phase, because we're an agile shop, so we like to move fast. Um, and DevNet really just helps keep pace. All right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So hey everybody, if you'd like to learn more about the APIs we're talking about here and how this stuff works, you can come to DevNet, which is at developer.cisco.com. And if you'd like to know more about the actual solution, you can hit up the VBrick guys at vbrick.com. Absolutely.